Of all the people to get me too Gary Busey, like the f heck is going on here? I just about swore in the first 30 seconds. Hey, if you guys want an inside track and if you're doing any sort of YouTube adventures on yourself and you get monetized and stuff and you can't quite figure out why you can't get monetization or monetization on certain things, the most important, okay? And it won't get you because I don't really know how to game the system off of that to begin with, okay? To just give you a, a green light to go. Nothing, nothing that I've put out there. It doesn't matter how squeaky clean my content has been. Just just me opining about some philosophical discussion can't get me approved for full monetization as soon as i upload but if you don't swear within the first 30 seconds like you can say a couple of specific things right just the less harsh less harsh curse words okay but if you don't drop an f-bomb a c-bomb uh, any sort of slur within the first 30 seconds they normally just hand wave it all away regardless of what the subject matter of the actual video is because youtube thinks that everybody's retarded and kind of on the tick eh, i don't know if that got me hit but whatever put out some good information out there before we did talk about this absolute goddamn insanity but no as long as you keep it squeaky clean for the first 30 seconds they think that in the way that youtube is moving like you see it with the shorts they want to try to be tiktok okay even though they continue to push content that has longer watch retention which is all of this stuff is weird it's all counter er, counter into eh, counter intuitive okay maybe i should be watching some videos that help uh push linguistics but regardless regardless some words are tough and it's it's hot out today i'm sweating my balls off here in this uh the luxurious dks studios yeah right maybe i need somebody to towel dry them just like gary Busey when he got uh, hit with some sex crimes at a new jersey horror film convention I, he's uh my god he's he's brain damaged he's just about 80 years old oh, this, it's like those stupid goofs who decided that uh trying to me to wilt chamberlain was a good idea uh, dude's been dead before like before the turn of the millennium and i gotta do i gotta do a video on wilt chamberlain because god damn it like i've loved the guy for a long time okay i think that he is one of the most underrated dominant figures in any sports like okay if you just take a look at the resume of wilt chamberlain you will be shocked he still holds to this day and the dude has been dead since 1999 hasn't played since the 70s for god's sakes he still holds like 40 fucking records okay and then the stuff he did afterwards off the court he's a total freak of nature and just a really awesome dude but again that's subject material for another video okay like i like a bunch of you know old school people i'm an old school guy i even have a wilt chamberlain jersey from back in the cut whenever i do that video I'll try to crack it out anyways uh gary Busey, who uh again i know he was in a lethal weapon movie outside of that everybody just knows him as uh surviving a horrific motorcycle crash where his head got caved in um and then just be in the freak show on every single reality show that involves celebrities in some form or fashion was he on real life not entirely sure i think he was on celebrity apprentice actually um but i guess he's been doing like the con circuit in order to drum up some money and attention like he's a big enough name to be one of the big gets for one of those smaller comic cons film festivals that are out there and the fact that yeah i charged with sex crimes at new jersey horror film convention he's 78 years old i don't think this happened okay unless there's some conclusive evidence my doubt a meter is going to be right up to the goddamn roof at this point actor gary Busey has been charged with sex crimes and harassment <gasps> and a monster mania convention in cherry hill new jersey according to police Busey, 78 of malibu california is facing sexual offense charges okay stemming from incidents at an annual convention the cherry hill police department said police said they responded to the double tree hotel in cherry hill where the for uh, the horror film convention was held august 12th to 14th of a report of a sex offense i don't know anything about the double tree hotel but eh, hopefully it's nice eh, given the fact it's new jersey it's kind of a you know 50 50 shot if we're being completely honest BUC was charged Friday with two counts of criminal sexual conduct, one count of criminal attempt, criminal sexual conduct, and one count of harassment. <gasps> All right. Uh, okay, so two counts of criminal sexual contact. What does that mean? Grab a titty, uh, touch an ass, uh, rub something on somewhere that somebody didn't want him to. Uh, one count of 
criminal attempt to or criminal sexual like what no none of this um mm, uh i really know man uh, all of these are just nice wonderful vague catch-all terms anyways um cherry hill police lieutenant robert schuneman uh said that it was uh about contact it was about touching okay so an older gentleman decided to rub up against a younger thing i don't really know man uh, fans posted photos to social media with Busey at the convention with one writing on Instagram. He gave me compliments and made me blush. Nice guy. Yeah, that, that's a sexism nowadays, I guess. But I don't know, man. What kind of fucking blood are you going to draw out of this stone? Like, I don't know how deep the Busey pockets are at this point. If he's... If he's doing, like, no offense to people who like to go to these cons, but they aren't exactly, um, the, the liveliest of audiences, okay? Like, I, I know you might end up catching a crypto dork at one of these places, but these aren't exactly well-off motherfuckers, okay? Website Convention Scene noted his attendance at the semi-annual event, saying, We are very excited to welcome Gary Busey back to Monster Mania Con! After a very long absence, Gary Busey will be attending Monster Mania Con 50, which will be held the weekend of August 12th through 14th in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. The site said Busey was known for playing Uncle Red in the 1985 film adaptation of Stephen King's werewolf story, Silver Bullet, among other roles. Yeah, that's one thing you could point him out for. Now, Busey, who was nominated for an Oscar for pay playing Buddy Holly in 1978's The Buddy Holly Story. Yeah, I think that that's probably a little bit more prolific than, um, I don't know, fifth billing on a Stephen King adaptation. Well, it's a little bit better. It depends on how much influence Stephen King had because most of his best work mm, didn't directly involve him. Like, he's one of those uh, authors uh, who, again, kind of like Sam Harris, has just crippling TDS. But, at least for Stephen King, people still respect what he puts out. He hasn't quite torched his career yet, but 2024 is still on the horizon, okay? And I got quite a few burn victim jokes if he decides to ever pot or pop his creepy-looking face out, okay? You just keep going to Boston Red Sox games and muttering about an orange man in the corner. That's all wonderful. Put in your headphones and... I also heard stories that he likes to buy the three seats that are around him so nobody comes close to him. It's like, yeah, you're a big deal, but you're a big deal in the world of authoring, so fuck off already. Anyways, uh, suffered brain damage from a near-fatal motorcycle accident in 1988. Yeah, man, like, that's also what he's known for. And then, wasn't he the villain in Lethal Weapon 2, I think? Like, that's normally the type of actors that you get at these cons. Uh, this was all prior. This is all just references to everything prior to when San Diego Comic-Con started to become a big thing post twilight and that's when all the twilight moms came in so yes another affront to society the twilight brought okay F making comic-con and geek culture prevalent it should have always stayed underground and then spurning off into the zeitgeist and to the popular culture at large kink with uh, 50 shades of gray being a adaptation uh a sexual adaptation to twilight uh, the, the, the entire tree of that fucking nonsense is degenerate long and short of it is twilight ended up getting gary Busey caught with a couple of charges let's be fucking frank and fun about this but it doesn't really look like it's uh really wearing gary down uh gary is seen sitting in a public park in california with his pants down smoking a cigar yeah, that's Gary Busey activity. That, that's his definite behavior. Uh, the day after being charged with groping three women. Three women, huh? Three women, four charges. So did somebody get both of their titties grabbed? Like, what are we doing here? And horror movie convention, as cops say, they expect more victims to come forward. Except for the ones who were like, he paid me a compliment. He was a super nice guy. Anyways, actor Gary Busey was caught in shocking photos with his pants down in the middle of the day at the public park. Uh, he appear, er, appeared to perform a lewd act and then lit up a cigar after being charged with groping three women at a New Jersey horror movie convention in a California park in New Jersey. Did you really think that these are serious charges if he was allowed to leave? 
from New Jersey and travel back across the country, or is this just another very obvious Me Too situation? I'll wait for all the evidence to come out, but I always know how this shit goes, let's be honest. Mm, Gary Busey 78 was spotted getting down and dirty. Not really, man. He's just an older gentleman, and he was wearing boxers at the same time. Like, come on. Or he was wearing another set of pants underneath of that. Either that, or he likes to, I don't know, maybe from hip down to knee, he likes to wrap himself in uh, tensor bandages. Like, I don't fucking know. Uh, Busey, who lives in Malibu, or Malibu, sorry, faces two counts. We already went over that shit, okay? And I guess that's him sitting on the park bench. It's hot outside, and those sweatpants don't look like they breathe that well. They're the big cotton champion ones, I guess. Like, Or maybe he's 78 years old, and he has brain damage. Like, I don't fucking know man like i've never heard anything okay i've never heard any me too allegations prior to this but like the officers said at the beginning we expect more people to come forward soon because that's always how this goes it's one person testing the waters and then there's going to be a bunch of other me too's out there because <sighs> as much as we went through all this rigmarole with johnny depp and amber heard I thought them believe all women might die off of the back of this one, but hey, I just really hate being right sometimes by saying that no, 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 they'll compartmentalize Amber Heard, put her off in the corner and just say that she's an exceptional case. Okay, she's an outlier when it comes to this. We still need to continue to believe all women. Hell, there's three of them against the guy whose entire legacy is being a fucking creep like at the end of the day what did you expect okay and again these are charges stemming from shit that happened in public okay like just fucking stop at this point i'll be following up on this when we start to get some more evidence i guess because as of right now just let the old man stand up stretch i don't know meet with round-faced matter or male pattern baldness afflicted fucking goofs and let the old guy just smoke a cigar in peace god damn it and with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone